Welcome in this video to uh, know how to configure the SMB uh, protocol for the max performance on Azure Netapp 5. So just a quick, uh, quick reminder on the performance on NF. So we have two factors to configure the performance. The first one is the service level, which uh, will give you the throughput um, part of uh, your volume, and then your volume quota, which give you the performance. So in our demo, uh, we will show you uh, how fast you can change uh, the volume performance, and also um, that's working. Okay. So let just, me just remove that and show. So we have a resource group with a NetApp account right now. So if you can't not de uh, deploy, you need to follow the process to have a whitelist account. We have to, so the NetApp account into the NetApp account. We have an Active Directory connection enabled already to, to fasten this demo. And we have also capacity pool with a capacity of four terabytes with a standard uh, service level. And we have also a volume. The volume is set up to a quota of one terabyte to have some room that uh, demo. So now I will use the tool name disk SPD to, uh, to test uh, the performance on the volume. The volume is mounted on the machine right here. So that's the same uh, share uh, than the one in the portal. We will do the demo first with this uh, calculation, so one terabyte. Normally, we should have something like 140 megabytes per second of uh, performance. Megabit, sorry, because in French is not the same. So we have now the performance we told you. Just a quick note about the configuration of your host to get the maximum throughput. You need to check the configuration of the uh, SMB client configuration on the host using the get SMB client configuration. We that will do something like that. So you have a list and you need to check that the value of the uh, connection count per SS network interface is uh, something like 16 to have the maximum performance on your host. Then you need to check if the multi-channel SMB protocol is enabled to allow you to use all the RSS interface um, stuff. And then, so here you have the enable multi-channel tech, 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 right there. You have the enable multi-channel right here, which is set to true. So we have the maximum performance on this VM. This VM is um, a DV3 series, so the D2, uh, D8, sorry, uh, which have a normally a maximum throughput on the overall on the NIC cumulated. You, you will have uh, for uh, hundred uh, for thousand, sorry, um, megabyte per second on this VM. So now we want to know how many time we need to wait to have the best performance for uh, our storage. So if we go to something like uh, 3 terabyte, so I will copy that to have some running stuff. And I go to the portal and to my volume. Let it load and so now we can change the volume dynamically. Okay. I just put that and now it's updating. So the tool is running smoothly and now you can see a, a peak. You are you have four uh, four hundred megabyte megabit per second. 
so now you see it's what we calculated by the um, the commercial uh, proposition so now we have that and if we need less storage because sometimes we need less storage we can also go to the lowest level of the volume capacity directly because we can grow the storage up and make it smaller so now when the storage will apply the configuration and now we have a big cut down of the performance and also of the cost so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you learned something new thank you